Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I have one question and then a few remarks, if I may. Proceed. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to clarify, I have not, um, I haven't been in here the entire time, but is it true that our unfunded long-term obligation now totals $95 billion? Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative D'Agostino. Through you, Mr. Speaker. I heard that number earlier today, and I confess I don't know where it comes from. The, the unfunded pension liability that we've got is about $22 billion. And as I mentioned earlier today, that's got nothing to do with these employees, these current state employees, people that may be hired in the future. We, we've been paying our pension obligations for many years now. That unfunded $20 billion liability on the state employee side is that relic from decades ago when we didn't put any money away. There's also an unfunded teacher pension liability that we need to deal with. I think it's like 17 or 18 billion. So that's about 40 there. I don't know where the 95 number comes from. So I would need somebody to tell me what that, where, where that comes from. That, that unfunded pension liability though, there's a reason for that. And again, it's not being exacerbated at all by this agreement through you. Representative Dauphinese. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for that answer. Um, what I do know is we do have a great debt in this state. What I do know is that the people that I hear from, what they talk about is what they can't afford. They can't afford living in Connecticut because they can't afford the high cost of living here. They can't afford the taxes that the high taxes that we have. They can't afford to buy food. They can't afford to pay their mortgages. I don't hear anybody saying that they want to see the cost of Connecticut increase. So for that reason, Mr. Speaker, I will be a no on this vote. Um, I have to, to, to stand up for the people that are telling me that they just can't afford to stay here anymore. I don't think I need to repeat much of the conversation that's gone on, but thank you.